hi guys welcome back to soulmates with l so in today's video is where we are gonna be discussing some of the reasons why many people feel like marriage is hard marriage is tough anytime you see people they'll be telling you i'm scared of getting married i'm scared of getting married and to be honest this is just like more of um a podcast because it's something that personally I actually experienced it before I got married but now I'll be talking from a married person's perspective and I am gonna be talking like your big sister trying to tell you whether it's true that marriage is hard or not and what makes you think that marriage is hard is it true that marriage is hard or is it all in your head yeah so apparently guys marriage is not that hard Marriage is hard because of so many reasons, depending on how you look at it. But before that, let me first of all explain to you guys why you would be thinking that marriage is not for you. Personally, I grew up seeing people uh, being beaten in marriages, like domestic violence. And I thought that that is how marriage was supposed to be. And then when I started growing up and becoming mature and a teenager, I realized that there are some people or some families I came across or people I met or people I knew that apparently were married and they were living the best life. They were not fighting. They were not doing any domestic violence, anything. They were just living their best life, basically. And I was like, wait a minute. Are we in the same earth, planet earth or which planet are we? Where were those people who used to fight living? And where are we with this other new couple? Okay. So, after growing up and noticing that, it really changed my perspective of everything. Plus, I also realized that <clears throat> when you have God, you have everything. Because you have... Um, a new perspective about life basically you have where to run to when you're thinking of what to do with your life or what not to do with your life you have um, where to run to for advice for wisdom for knowledge and all that now this video might sound all over the place but just watch to the end and you you notice where I'm coming from and where I'm going to now why would you be feeling like marriage is hard because after what I told you guys, I saw growing up or I experienced, I feared marriage. And then after what I also told you, my mentality changed. So why would you be feeling that marriage is hard at the moment? I would say it's because of expectations that probably are not met. Now, there's something very funny about today's generation, which is... I don't know why I feel like my ring light is showing on my camera and I don't know how to chase that away but anyway don't focus on the ring light just focus on me yeah, I think if I'm like this is is closer and is better <laughs> anyway so mm, where were we I said unmet expectation now many people get married and then they think that because i'm married uh this man is going to be taking care of me every day and then when you meet the man and marry the man and you realize he's not going to be taking care of you every day because basically there are so many needs that a man is not never gonna meet for you in your marriage so many needs that is not gonna meet for you and that is why they always say you need to have something doing. You might not be a career woman, but thank God for content creation. Many people are creating content now from the comfort of their homes. If you are a woman who is married in a family where they believe in women and uh, women and kitchen, like some of our Indian sisters, then you can as well create content on food, you know. If you are a woman who is exposed to beauty and cosmetics, you can as well create content on beauty and cosmetics. I still make your cool cash and take care of yourself. But if you're that kind of woman who likes career jobs, you can as well do career jobs. They won't tell you, no, don't do career jobs. Nobody will tell you that. Unless you're married to a man who feels like you're a threat to 
him or her of which that is a different video altogether will do but some of the key reasons that make, make men feel like their wife should not work some men are not men enough they are scared that if you have your own money you will not respect them some are scared that if you have your own money, you will not need them for anything because you'll be able to take care of yourself. Some are also scared that you might be earning or you might end up earning more than them and they will feel useless in the relationship. But again, there are some men who knows how wayward their wives are and they just feel like they don't want to expose you to temptation because we all know the same way we have men who cannot resist temptation. It's the same way we have women who do not have moral values and they cannot resist temptation. And if you're dating or you're married to this kind of woman, then best believe that man is going to be stopping or rejecting the woman from working. And you'll be wondering, why is this man re refusing the woman from working? Doesn't he need someone to help him? Of course he does, sis. He does. But he's just scared that if he allows you to go and work, you are going to work and work the other type of work as well. So, what did I say about the key reasons why um, you feel like marriage is hard and much expectation is one of them? And then another thing is unpreparedness. You are preparing to get married. You're not reading books about marriage. You're not listening to podcasts about marriage just like this one now, for example, you are not going for marital counseling. You are not, if you know you have a problem, maybe a childhood trauma or any trauma at all, relationship trauma from the past relationships you've heard, you had your heart broken. Somebody served you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and your heart was shattered into pieces, and you have not healed. Because believe me, believe me, these days, there are some type of heartbreaks that somebody can be heartbroken for three years, four years, six years, eight years. You're still mourning your past. You're still not able to forget the person. Of which that is also another video we'll do separately all together where I'll explain to you why God would allow you not to like forget someone. If the person is in your past now because you'll be like oh this person is on my past why can't i get him off my head now i will do another separate video where i'll explain that but if you have these traumas you're not preparing yourself you're not doing any counseling attending any counseling and you're preparing for marriage when you end up getting married of course you might just feel that marriage is hard because you are not prepared the other key reason is if you know that expectation point i said i met expectation and then i explained in financial terms now if your expectations are not met in emotional level we all know that people are different people are created differently and people have different libidos and so if you are a woman of high libido and you expect to marry this guy maybe you are a christian couple dating and then you decided to keep yourself celibate until marriage and you you're dating this guy then you marry this guy and suddenly you realized that the guy's libido is nowhere close to yours the guy's libido is so low it makes marriage to be hard for you because you'll always be feeling like you're not sexually satisfied and this is mostly applicable to people who they were not born again all along they have not been virgins all their life. Do you get? Because most people receive Christ when they are grown-ups, when they are grown-ups women, when they have lived that life. And Christ met them and Christ decided to change and help their life. So in such cases, you realize that that is when the person will now realize they have unmet emotional needs, unmet emotional desires in their marriages, in their relationships. And they're thinking, how am I going to cope with this mostly now that I'm a Christian uh, partner, you know? 
you are a Christian, your husband is also born again Christian, you're a born again Christian, and you just realized that apparently you being born again cannot lower your libido. And the person you, you married cannot meet it up. Now, these are more reasons why people need to do marriage uh, counseling or attend marriage counseling before marriage because they will open your mind to these possibilities. Many people ignore, many people think it's not applicable to me, it's not applicable to me. But the truth is that it's actually applicable to everybody. They might be able to open your eye in different aspects that you never thought you needed anybody to open your eye on. Now, what do you do to make your marriage not to be hard for you? If you already enter this marriage with these unmet expectations, emotionally, financially, physically, uh, what do you do to change it? Because the truth is you're already in the marriage, you know. So number one th key thing is you really need to be prayerful because as much as people ignore it, life is very spiritual, I believe. And many people will tell you, there's nothing you can say or do. There's no prayer you can pray or no fasting you can fast to change God's mind. But personally, I believe it's otherwise. Do not judge me, but I just feel there's a way you can pray. There's a way you can fast and change God's mind about you. I'm not saying God didn't like you. But I'm just saying that sometimes God allows some situations in your life for some reasons. And it's you to pray it away, you know. It's you to pray, tell him, I need you to help me change this. If you don't tell him that you need him to change it, you might as well leave it so that you can just stay there until you realize that you need him. Let me tell you guys, do you know that God really wants you to realize that you need him? Because he doesn't need you. If you do not praise God, the Bible says that the mountains, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea will sing his praises. So he doesn't need you. But on the other hand, you and I really need him. But first of all, you really need to be prayerful. So that God can have mercy on you in every aspect of your life and just change things for you. Because as much as people think it's not possible, it's very possible for God to change your spouse. And that's why it's a very stupid thing for somebody to marry somebody and you'll say, I will change him. You can never change your fellow man. Why? Because you got married to a grown ass man. Like this man didn't change in the hands of their mother. Neither did they change in the hands of their father. So, what makes you think they will change in your hands? So, the only person who can change someone is the Almighty God. And if you pray, they can change. Another thing is try so hard to attend marriage counselor uh, sessions. Even if uh, marriage counseling sessions, even if you're already in the marriage and you're regretting, it's not too late. You can still schedule sessions. And if you talk to your spouse, if he agrees to follow you, fine. But even if they don't, the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Even if they don't, you go and attend it as an individual and thank me later because they are going to put you through on some of the things you should not be doing. Some of the things you should be ignoring to make your life easy. Do you know that it's in your head to think that your spouse needs to meet your sexual expectations all the time? I know that when you got married, they told you, my body is now your body and we are one. But it doesn't mean that your spouse needs to meet your sexual expectation all the time. Even though there are those special moments when your spouse can have a dutiful sex, that is because your respective other is in the mood and you're not. You decide to do it as a duty, not because you want to. But of course, this cannot happen every day. And God help you that your spouse doesn't have low libido. Because if they do, you're going to be finding it very rough. 
And that is why having open conversations is also number three thing you need to do if you're already in the marriage and you feel like all these things are happening and too, it's too much for you. The best thing to do is have an open conversation with your respective other. You might be feeling choked and your respective other doesn't know anything. Imagine. You might be thinking that you guys are fine. You guys are cool. You guys are okay. But he doesn't know that you guys are not actually okay. He doesn't know that you are not fine. He doesn't know that you're not finding it funny. He doesn't know that basically you feel like you're choking and nothing is working. And another thing is you have to change your expectations. Now, if you are married with some funny kind of expectations, lower your standards on expectations. Not your standards per se, but when it comes to what you were expecting and then you go married, you didn't meet it. If it's something you can't create, then lower it. If you are married and you are thinking that your spouse will always be having sex with you, that's when you start having children and responsibilities will come in and you realize you don't even have time for sex. You create time for it like intentionally. You have to really, really create time for it. If not, you might find that three months, six months, you people don't even remember the last time you, you did that. And if it's about finances and all that, you can as well create um, a source of income for yourself. If you realize the person you married cannot meet all your financial expectations because 98% chances of married people is that they cannot meet it unless you're married to a billionaire and he doesn't know what to do with his money and he doesn't want you to work and is willing to give you because most men will also tell you, don't work, I'll take care of you, don't work, I'll put you on a salary. But you realize that some months, you will not be seeing that salary. You will be begging for it. It will even become a problem. When they feel like giving it to you, they will. But not all the time. So you can as well create an income generating, um, sorry, income generating activity for yourself. And solve your financial condition or situation. Yeah, so this marks the end of this video, guys. I just felt, let me come and say this. I just felt like somebody needs to hear this. I don't know who, but I just felt it in my heart so much. Like, you'd realize it's kind of different today. I kind of try to explain it in a different way from my normal videos. But I guess you'll be seeing this kind of videos here and there. Because sometimes I get, I get questions from friends, from people in my circle. Some people slide in my DM with questions. Some people reach out on me on my email. And they ask me these questions. And sometimes because of time, I don't find it easy to do a video about them. So sometimes I just answer them on the DM there or on the email there, inbox. But... For some reason, I just felt like this particular one today, I really needed to come and sit here and talk about it. Yeah. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you found value in this video, please comment below. Let me know. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. And yes, I have noticed you have been growing massively. If you haven't subscribed, imagine you're the only one left out. Because guys have been subscribing and the grace of God is so much. And I'm so happy and welcome all of you that are new. I'm welcoming you he in here officially like welcome to this family. Trust me, you won't regret subscribing to this channel because I have loads and loads of loads and loads of enlightening videos that are going to be helping you understand your relationship game, understand your relationship, your relationship better, your communication, you know how to maneuver your relationships and get the best out of it and get freedom and satisfaction out of it. How not to read meaning on useless things and what to ignore and what not to ignore in your relationships and stuff like that. There's some good, good stuff. So subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much, guys. Like this video and share it. And I'll see you guys in my next.